Hey guys, Panic here, and uh, this is part three of my Stoke on Trent uh, vlog series. So this is going to be like the the finale of the of this little mini series right here. Um, do I feel sad? I, yeah, I do, I do a bit. I, I have in the fact that I have enjoyed myself and all of that, but. One thing that I am going to be dreading though is uh, making it is that in this vlog I'm going to have to make the emotional journey back home because because uh, it's also my last it'll also be my last night in Stoke as well so yeah um a bit sad really um, and what makes me even more sad is that I've also got work the next day as well so yeah <laughs> sad days you know i do i do think it's a sad life that we live like your life is literally just to just to you know work your ass off until till you drop dead essentially i mean the retirement age is like 68 now which is absolutely ridiculous it used to be 65 a few years ago but they've upped it to 68 which yeah, I don't know if I'm even going to live to that to that age, if I'm going to be honest with you. So, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Just have a bit of fun every once in a while, you know? I don't know if anybody needs to hear this, but, you know, don't spend all your life working. Leave some room for enjoyment. Like, you're not going to get much room for this, for things like this before your retirement age. So, and not to mention, we only get one life. So, just enjoy yourself. You know, something that's just occurred to me is that uh, despite this, this city being called Stoke-on-Trent, not once have I, have I seen the River Trent flow through. Like, I've actually looked on a map uh, to find out where, where the River Trent is, but... Uh, Turns out that uh, the river actually fro actually, actually separates Stoke upon Trent and Stoke on Trent City Centre, aka Hanley. So, yeah, um, I'll have to like try and get some uh, video footage of uh, the River Trent at some point because you know um, the I live quite close, relatively close to the River Trent. So, well, I say relatively close. I mean like 20 miles from the River Trent myself so and it's the same river that flows through this city so you know gotta um, gotta get that in the in the video at some point here we go guys uh, don't know if you wanted it but you're getting it anyway the River Trent you know the river is actually smaller or not not as wide as I um, I figured it would be. I guess it's because it's more of a canal than um, than a river at this uh, at this location. So I'm guessing that sign is supposed to be there, but some uh, but some crackheads decided to knock it down. Now then, I just want to find uh, that spa because uh, that's the main reason why I'm out tonight is because I'm going to the spa to uh, like get some uh, get some uh, supplies for the morning. Well, till the morning because uh, I need to start packing my things since I need to check out the hotel before 10 o'clock. So yeah, I need to like get I need to like get my things sorted pack up and then hand me card key into the reception or put it in a uh, in like a black box outside the uh, the main entrance so um i do believe the spa is supposed to be like up here somewhere but i don't see it that's the that's the problem okay so it seems as though that the uh, the spa is no longer there because uh, apparently it's supposed to be like here like in this building right here but there's a sign up 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 uh, the near the top of the building saying that uh, there are some that there are some flats that uh, 
that are going to be rented out so yeah i guess it's been turned in i guess it recently got turned into like a set of flats or something and uh you know the map didn't update either that or the or the map has the spa in the wrong location one of the two but i don't see anything i don't see any shops around here that are still open so yeah um so this is a little bit of a problem Alright guys, it is Monday, well Sunday now, so, uh, I nearly said Monday then, I hope it's not Monday. Um, and uh, this building in the background there, uh, my friend Josh has a, uh, Unimoto has a uh, catchphrase for that that building. Let me just go back because I thought that car was coming out. Yeah, it looks kind of Soviet, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I've checked out the hotel now, so uh, that means that I can't go back in. Um, I've got everything, got me, uh, got my bag with, with, with all my clothes inside. Um, got got a change for his bag that's got like coffee and sugar inside because I bought my own like coffee and sugar from from Sainsbury's. Um, so. Um, if, and before people uh, comment down below asking if I got like complimentary like coffee and sugar stuff, I did get that. It's just that I got I had it all, <laughs> so I bought the send some extra, just so I didn't have to go through the trouble of uh, getting the staff to replenish me complimentary um, coffee and sugar stuff. So yeah. Um, Go Wild Area, day two is going to be starting uh, in about 40 minutes or so. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go to Weather Spoons to start off with because uh, I kind of want my breakfast and I didn't have one in the hotel. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go to Weather Spoons before, uh, before I get the bus. I have to say though, it's uh, it's not looking too great though. Um, it's been, I mean, I've been keeping an eye on the weather forecast and apparently it is set to rain again today. So, I mean, even now it's spitting, but admittedly it's not as bad as it has been. Like, um, when I first got up, it was chucking it down, like harder than it was yesterday. So, Hopefully uh, that doesn't continue, um, but for right now, we're okay. I'm currently stood outside uh, the, in what I can assume is the indoor market there, and uh, yeah, I'm waiting for the uh, number 11 bus to uh, to Newcastle, under Lyme. Uh, actually, is it under Lyme or is it under Lean or under Lim or something? I have no idea how it's pronounced, but uh, yeah, I'm waiting for the number 11 bus to go there. Um, looking at, uh, at the map as to what route it's taking, um, I won't imagine that service taking more than 20 minutes, so... I should get there for the start of Go Wild area, I guess. Um, <clears throat> by the way, that uh, that breakfast was banging. Like, there's one, there's one. If there's one thing that I will say about Weatherspoons is that their breakfast is always banging. And what's even better is that uh, it's it's all day as well. So like. Even if you're like, say, a nocturnal person, for example, that works night shifts, like uh, you can you can still go to Weatherspoons if if you wanted to for like breakfast before going to bed, or like you, or like when you get up, for example. So, so yeah, that is a uh, so that's pretty awesome. So, yeah, um, so like I said uh, earlier. Uh, Go Wild Area Day 2 will be starting soon, so yeah. Uh, I don't really know what my goals are going to be for today though, because uh, I mean, yesterday I uh, 
I had a lot of goals in mind, but then it got compromised by the fact that it was raining and also the fact that I was doing like a bunch of raids as well. So I think today, if I can help it, I'm not going to do as many raids as I did yesterday. Um, like I'm still going to do like Snorlax, Toxtricity and Power Cure raids because I still need to get them shiny. But, uh, if I, but apart from those, uh, if I can help it, I'm not going to do as many raids today, I don't think. safely into Newcastle and uh, the event has just started as well so good stuff so yeah um, I've straight off the bat from the first spawn I've uh, managed to get myself my first shiny my it which is a Tynamo um, obviously I don't really care too much about that because it had a calm day fairly recently so yeah <laughs> don't really don't really care about that but uh, yeah, um, I've also uh, collected Mr. Fire Balls from the Tanned Research as well. Um, there aren't any new special researches that, uh, that I should be aware of. So yeah, that, I guess uh, that means it's 100% just, uh, just a shiny hunt today. So yeah. found uh, a mighty Electros. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's about it really. Um, well, I guess not exactly. I did also like do some shiny checks, but uh, which of course none of them came out shiny, but yeah, um, I have actually picked out a, a loop route for, um, for this place. Um, basically, I'm gonna go from where that round go to where that roundabout is down there and uh, then go to the other side of the town centre where the road ends so like this is this is all like one big uh, boulevard so to speak so uh, like I could just walk from like one side of the boulevard to the other once I'm at the end of the loop so yeah um, so yeah, that's that's quite nice. I'm going to drop some laws at every stop that I pass along the way, so that uh, you know I can maximise my spawn, so to speak. Hello, I'd like.
like to make a claim for universal credit, please? Just did a Toxtricity uh, remote raid, a uh, NAR match raid, and I tried solo in it. Turns out you can't solo it. Yeah. <laughs> but to be fair though, I didn't realise it was a four star raid. I thought there were three stars, but yeah. Um, anyway, um, the gotchas just caught me and caught me another shiny, uh, which is an Alolan Jew dude, uh, which is quite nice. And uh, looking at my hundos right now, and uh, I just got another one, uh, which was shiny, which was Electric. Um, I must have caught it like right at the start or something because it said I caught it in Stoke on Trent. And if I caught any Pokemon around here, it would say caught in Newcastle. So. Yeah, I think I definitely caught it right at the start or something. So, yeah, um, so that's so that's cool. Um, I think there are some people playing around here because uh, I just seen like three people uh, partake in the uh, toxicity raid that I was just in, which is why I uh, I jumped in the lobby. But unfortunately, by the time I jumped in, they did they had jumped out. So, yeah. Uh, but that was when I was like, I wanted to give it, give solo wing a go. So yeah, that's when I did that and failed. So yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, that happened. So this is quite the turnover. Do you remember how in part one, um, I could, we couldn't get enough of the, uh, the roadworks and stuff that was happening? Well, here we have a demolition going on. Yeah, they're taking down this, uh, this old building right here. Currently back at the bus station now and uh, because uh, that uh, little jitty way um, kind of uh, led me here so yeah. I'm currently on my way to do a drill parade and uh, yeah I come across like two mighty Pokemon in like one place which uh, <laughs> You know, it's pretty cool. Um, I, first I come across an uh, Electivire, which of course a Golden Raz, used a Safari Ball, and well, I didn't get, well, can't remember if I got an excellent or not, but uh, threw the ball, and it broke out and fled. Isn't that lovely? Uh, but not all it, not all was lost though, because uh, uh, the second one was a Dragonite, uh, which I did the same thing, a Golden Raz and Safari Balled it, but unfortunately that also fled too, so yeah, um, getting a bit of bad luck with uh, these Mighty Pokemon at the minute, which uh, I'm not too impressed with. Holy shit guys, <laughs> I've just uh, come across a, uh, a Galarian Zapdos on the uh, Daily Incense and uh, I have uh, I did deliberate on uh, using an Ultra Ball uh, slash Golden Raz to uh, catch it but then I thought, you know what, since it's Go Wild area and since these Pokeballs are limited, I figured I would use a Safari Ball, you know, just so I've got something to remember it by and it actually caught it. <laughs> like holy crap! I was not expecting to catch first, like first ball at all. So yeah, got a got a Galarian Zapdos in this fireball. Brilliant. <laughs> Sadly though, uh, we got you caught a shiny Bulbasaur like right after catching the Zapdos. Yeah, that's just brilliant, isn't it? Like why couldn't the Zapdos be shiny? Like that's. Probably about the only thing that would be better than just uh, than just a regular Galarian Zapdos and a Safari Ball, if I'm honest. But uh, whatever, got a shiny Bulbasaur. Just encountered another shiny, shiny Krogunk. Um, and again, another shiny that I've already got. But yeah, um, you know, shiny Krogunk isn't too bad. I mean, it's one of the better looking shinies in my opinion. To be honest, I think a lot of the turquoise coloured shinies are actually quite good, in my opinion. So, yeah, I definitely won't complain about that. Um, I do also try to shiny check a, uh, a Venipede, see if we can get a back-to-back -back shiny, but no, unfortunately not. 
So I'm still shiny venipede free at the minute. So yeah, it's a shame because uh, shiny uh, whirlipede and shiny uh, scolipede are both pretty, pretty cool looking shinies. So yeah, I would like to get my hands on one of those before the end of the event. Light Up Castle brought to you by the Newcastle Bid. Oh, it's nice to say that. Are you in your Christmas spirit so far, Rich? Um, yeah, absolutely. Loving the, the festivities. Uh, I can't wait to try eggnog. Um, eggnog? And I'm going to watch uh, It's a Wonderful Life this year. I've never, never thought of it. Nice, nice. So we've got loads coming up for you. Hello, is this Facebook Live, Twitter Live, TikTok Live, Bebo? What are we on on there? Just for you. YouTube. YouTube. The one I didn't mention. Hello, YouTube. Hello, shout out, Connor Cook. We bring him everywhere with us. Uh, he's, he's our friend. Uh, so, are you looking forward to bringing in Christmas in Newcastle? So, that last clip was completely awkward and uh, smells horrible here for some reason. It smells like rotten eggs. Ugh. Uh, smells like somebody farted or something that's gone off. Yikes. Best move to a different location. But yeah, that last clip was really awkward because um, the second that guy said, hello, is this going to TikTok? Is this going to you? Like, <laughs> I did, I seriously did not know what to say because <laughs> I did, I seriously did not think that like, he was going to question me on recording. But yeah, it turned out uh, he was okay with it. So yeah. Um, and there was actually someone in the audience who was waving as well, but, uh, but considering that they were like uh, a 12 year old kid in the that was waving, I couldn't feature them on the camera because obviously, uh, you know, copper guidelines and stuff like that. So yeah, um, so if you so if that little girl is watching uh, this vlog right now, um, hello back <laughs> and also shout out. Also, the gotcha just caught a shiny Unovan uh, Stumfisk. Okay, moving on. Thank you, Plubs, from the uh, Works Up uh, Pokemon Go community group uh, for the Palkia Raid invite. Um, this one's from Liverpool, so I wonder if he's either in Liverpool or if he's just jumped into uh, one of his friend's lobbies. I don't know. It's probably the latter, but... Uh, you know, he could have gone for a day out, but unfortunately it is not a shiny. So yeah, so the hunt's still on for that. Um. Mm. Quite artsy. I'm currently back at the bus station now, at Newcastle bus station that is. Um, I'm going to get on the uh, the next bus I see to Stoke because, uh, to be honest, Newcastle really doesn't doesn't have much. I guess it's just kind of like one of those, uh, I don't know, it's just one of those uh, side towns that you go to if you get sick of Stoke or something. I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, when I've come here, like, the first thing that comes to my mind is, like, it's i can i can compare this place to like a place in nottinghamshire called sutton in ashfield which just like newcastle uh is uh, really close to stoke sutton in ashfield is like really close to mansfield so that's why i like that's why i make that comparison and not to mention they're both small towns as well um well smaller than its neighboring town or city and yeah, there's not really that much here, to be fair, so, yeah. Um, why am I telling you this? Well, it's because I'm a vlogger, and uh, I don't really have much to talk about, so, yeah, got to pad time somehow, you know? And for those of you wondering why I'm outside the bus station and not, like, inside the bus shelters themselves... That's why. Right, I've still got uh, a while until I've got to get the train back to back home because uh, 
I booked me, because uh, when I was booking my train tickets, I booked me return journey back for about seven o'clock from Stoke, which should get me back to Chesterfield for about nine o'clock. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's gonna. It's a long while yet before I have to go, but uh, chances are I may have to go a bit earlier because because uh, I only because right now I only have one battery pack that's fully charged. Well, it's not fully charged now because it's currently charging my phone. But um, but yeah, it's um, yeah I've only got one battery pack that's got charging, and uh, if that runs out, then my phone's going to be on its last life essentially uh, before it like shuts down and stuff so, well not permanently but like you know what i mean before it like runs out completely so but i, I think i will try and utilize uh what's left of uh, this event as much as i can because uh you know i do seem to be getting some better luck than i did yesterday which is which is quite nice uh so yeah hopefully uh hopefully that keeps up and uh, hopefully I can find some shinies that uh, I haven't got yet. Just encountered and caught a, uh, a wild mighty Venusaur there. Now, Venusaur was a Pokemon I didn't think could be mighty, so yeah, um, so yeah, that's, uh, so that's quite cool. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't a hundo though, um, but it was a good 96 center, which is quite nice. Is that my bus? No, I don't think it is. Um, sorry for that uh, brief burp right there. <laughs> uh, excuse me. But yeah, it uh, wasn't a Hundo Mighty Venusaur. It would have been nice to have a second Hundo Mighty there, but yeah. Um, well, I guess uh, beggars can't be choosers. Number 25. P.S. Fuck the gotcha for um, making me lose the shiny marini that I got on the bus. <laughs> Not happy about that. 30 yards. Continue on Lower Bryan Street. Okay, so apologise for the uh, for the map guy, Google Maps guy in the background. Uh, I've currently got it on so that I can uh, make my way to Forest Park, which is just around the corner from here. So, yeah. Um, I've uh, just found another hundo. It's another mighty Pokemon. This time it's Polyrath, which is pretty cool. And uh, it is now two o'clock now as well, uh, which, which means that it's going to be electric high power again. Yeah. Another hundo mighty Pokemon is always nice. That puts me at four for this event, which is crazy. Uh, I don't think I've ever had this many hundos in a single event ever, so. Yeah, I'm um, quite happy with how this is turning out so far. Oh god, I think this is where the Slender Man lives and so hopefully you don't get me. That's not a good omen.
Okay then guys, uh, we are now playing Slender. Let's go and try and get all eight pages. Okay, it looks to be a landmark here, so could be a page on that. Let's uh, have a gander. Don't know why I said it with that accent, I'm not American. But... Uh, okay, it doesn't look like I see one. All right, jokes aside though, guys, uh, coming here, um may actually be a blessing in disguise even if i don't find uh anyone because uh, it might be an opportunity to uh, do some scenic shots so continuing my uh, collecting all eight pages campaign we have a skate park. Good chance of there being a page on there. Oh, and we also have a pond with another park. Okay, what the fuck is this supposed to be? What is it supposed to be like uh, an array of lockers or something? I don't see like any hinges or um, any thing that like clicks the doors in or any places where the lock would go weird don't know what this is meant to be I think it may be mating season. Ah, just uh, come across the Tesco Express, just out of the blue. Normally I would go there, but... Nah, I like, I'd like something hot, if that's, if that's okay. I like how that older bloke in that last clip uh, was uh, looking in my direction, as if to say, what the fuck is that guy doing? Has he never seen a Tesco Express before? I'm like, no, I haven't. <laughs> European market, eh? Okay, this is how you know that uh, this video has sunk like so far down into the depths of hell. Like even hell, it's, even the devil himself is looking down on me. I have attempted to catch a mighty Pokemon in a Pokeball. <laughs> yeah, um, it went on for a while. Uh, it broke out like once or twice. Um, the game also like crashed for a second uh, like I thought that uh, I was gonna have to reload the game again but uh, uh, oh, some uh, stranger was just walking past and yeah I finally go to throw the pokeball for that final time and I actually managed to catch it so yeah um, I was really hoping for like a hundo or something because you know simply because for that reason because it's a mighty Pokemon that was caught in a pokeball like but unfortunately it was just a 93, but it's an okay 93. And um, yeah, um, so yeah guys, um, in case you uh, haven't figured it out already, there's like nothing to talk about, like nothing has happened in the last like two hours. Like seriously, no new shinies, no new um, like hundos, no new anything. Like it's just been complete dead. See guys, this is why I complain. Because the second I start complaining about not getting shinies, I start getting them. It's as if Niantic watched that last clip and uh, just decided to spawn a shiny in for me. That's probably not what happened, but 
Anyway, um, I've got shiny Electabuzz. Uh, this is kind of a big deal because this is now my 15th shiny for uh, day two. So, yeah, and it was also, I believe, my first shiny of the entire of the entire weekend. So, yeah, that was uh, that's pretty that's pretty cool. Nice throwback there. Let's see what you did there, game. Well, it looks like my daily incense has finished. Um, it's a shame I couldn't keep it going for a bit longer, but I just didn't have enough uh, Dialga candy for it, really. I know I've got like over 200 rare candies I got from doing all these raids yesterday, but to be honest, I just didn't fancy spending more Stardust um, for something that I'm probably not going to get. So, yeah, um, so... I'm decided to call it a day with the daily incense, so I'm just gonna um, instead just put a regular one on. Right, it's over now, guys. Go wild area is a fish. Well, not officially over because there's still like the, the little 15 minute like epilogue of the event or something, where like the same spawns will pop up for like 15 minutes, so you'll still have a chance of getting a shiny, but. Overall, I think the event's just done. I think they're all. Overall, I think the um, the odds will be back to normal for them. So, yeah, there's not really much point in grinding anymore now. So, yeah, I'm just gonna call it. Um, so, looking at my uh, my shiny count uh, for day two, I've managed to get 17 shinies, and considering that I got nine in day one. That puts me at a grand total of 26 shinies. So, you know, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Definitely could have been a lot higher if I didn't have that three hour long blooming shiny drought. Uh, you know, between um, between my 14th and my 15th shiny. I mean, seriously, that was ridiculous. Like, that was the most ridiculous shiny drought I think I ever had. Like, I'm not even joking. Um, but yeah, um, I'm currently just walking to the train station now. So uh, it's, yeah, it's a shame like it's a long walk to the train station now. Hello. Hello. It's okay. It's okay. Got nothing to fear from me. You're all right. Look at that kitty cat in Stoke on Trent. Oh, lovely. Oh, you're lovely, you are. You're a beautiful one, aren't you? Oh, wonderful. Um, I shouldn't have stroked that cat now. It's going to be following me. Wonderful. Must think I've got food or something. Right, I think I've, uh, I think I've lost the cat now. Right, that's probably good hopefully there won't be any like uh, missing posters all over the place because it kept following me but yeah <laughs> let's just have one last look one last dark look at the canal before I before I get my train out of here right I don't mean to like kill the joy right now but uh, I have a serious problem now um, so I've had a look on the uh, the train line app um, to see like when my uh, services do, and it's just shown on the uh, the app that it's cancelled and that uh, and that the services on the Derby to Chesterfield route back um, is is suffering some heavy delays due to the due to the huge rainfall that we had yesterday. So yeah, this is a serious problem because uh, basically that service that my ticket was valid for uh, would have got me back to Chesterfield in time for the last bus, which means that as it's, which means as it stands now, I'm, there's a chance I might either be stranded or I might have to get a taxi home and uh, yeah, this is kind of something I'm dreading right now. Mate, what the fuck's happened here? Everything's just been like knocked over. I wonder if that was to do with wind. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> Guys, I'm not gonna lie, but 
thankfully there is another service, uh, another way I can get back home, but it means that I'm going to have to get uh, get a train to Stockport, uh, which means it's going to be like two stops instead of one. Like I'll have to get a train to Stockport, then get another train to Sheffield, and then and then a third train to Chesterfield. So. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to buy a separate ticket for that though, that's the only thing. But there's no other choice really. Right, new plan. Instead of going through Derby, I'm gonna try and go through uh, go through Stockport and then get the get the train to Sheffield. And then and then Sheffield train back to Chesterfield. I honestly hope I get back in time. Basically, the plan is, is that I'm going to get off at uh, Stockport. Uh, I'm currently on the Manchester Piccadilly service, going through like Macclesfield, um, you know, where the Mac lads uh, originated from. Um, uh, but I'll be going up again off at the station after at uh, Stockport, and then um, I'll be waiting about 20 minutes for the uh, for the Sheffield train. Assuming it's on time, which I don't know if it is or not. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm not actually shooting brakes right now. I'm not I'm not joking. Like if anything goes wrong here, I could I could end up stranded. It's, this is how bad it is. Just arrived in Stockport, which means that the first phase of my backup plan um, uh, has succeeded. Uh, hold on, this is the wrong way. Uh, Slack of storage, platform one, there we go this way. Right, so I need to go to platform one for the, uh, for the service to Sheffield. Um, well, service to, I think it's Grimsby actually, it's going to, but I need to go for Sheffield for the Chesterfield service and that service is on platform one in about 10 minutes so uh, oh dear There's been another update on the train line app and it says that the Sheffield to Chesterfield service part of, the, part of my uh, plan has now been cancelled. Okay, that doesn't concern me, good. Um, I'm, current, I'm still currently in Stockport. I can still get the, uh, the Sheffield service back to, well, I can, get the, I can get on the train here to Sheffield still. But from Sheffield, uh, I'm going to have to make another way back, I think. Um, on one hand, I'm actually quite pissed off because I've just like spent another 30 quid just to like get stranded somewhere else, essentially. Um, like I've just gone from, I've just gone from being stranded in Derby to now being stranded in, well, well, I'm not stranded in Stockport yet, but it could go that way, so. Yeah, just fingers crossed that Sheffield service like, actually turns up because like it's not looking good. But uh, regardless, though, guys, I think I'm gonna have to end the vlog here. Okay, not 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 my concern. Um, I'm gonna have to end the vlog here. Um, if this video does does come up, then that means that I've made it home safe. So. So don't worry guys, I will eventually make it home. It's just a matter of when, you know. So like the I hope you enjoyed these um the Stoke on Trent trilogies. Um I'll uh, uh do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave it leave this video and the other videos a like. 
um, leave a comment. Uh, also, let me know how your uh, weekend went with uh, Go Wild Area and uh, click the subscribe button if you would like to see more videos like this one. I'm going to be doing a live stream on Thursday uh, for the finale of my Pokemon Fire Red series. So, um, so if you've been watching that series up, uh, up to that point, then you won't want to miss this. So, anyway, I'll see you in my next video. And uh, peace out and have a nice day. Bye-bye.